everyone, my name is Elsa, welcome back to my channel and today I want to do my first ever 24 hour readathon. So I actually, I think I actually do that a lot because I spend my time reading but I didn't really know what a 24 hour mark readathon meant until I, I saw the video by uh, Elliot Brooks, it was so good, I link it down below and she actually explained to me, because I'm so stupid obviously, that the 24 hour uh, readathon isn't you do, you don't have you know to spend all that time reading you know and stop eating stop showering stop sleeping no no you can just live your life like on a regular basis and see how much you can read in 24 hours and so that's what I intend to do but I'm so excited to make it a vlog and see what you think about it guys so today I have a lot of books on my list I actually had a hard two last weeks because I was like, it was crazy at work and so I didn't read that much and I'm starving for a good book. So I actually compiled a list watching a lot of booktubers I adore um, about short books because I don't want you know to start uh, a book of five, 500 pages or something and spend the entire day reading this one I want you know to have diversity like I said I'm starving for a book so I want to see I want to read thrillers I want to read comics I want to read mangas I want to read everything so I compiled this list to you know satisfy my need in books and so I have my computer and I will read to you the list I compiled. So first we have Evidence of the Affair by uh, Taylor Jenkins Reid. I actually read two other books. So the first one was um, uh, the, seventh, uh, no, the Seventh Husband of Evelyn Hugo that I really really liked and Desigence and the Sex that I adored. Like the audiobook is fantastic. And so I really love this author and I can't wait to read this novella. Then we have Helium by Rudy Francisco, which is a compilation of poems and I haven't read poetry in a long, long time, so I can't wait. Then we have Kindred Spirits by Rainbow Rowell. So I only read Carry On by this author and I adored it, so I really can't wait to read anything, <laughs> anything else she has to, to write. Then we have A Dead Jean in Cairo and The Haunting of Tramcar by P. Jelly Clark. And so this one was recommended to me by a lot of different booktubers and it seems great and I can't wait to read it. Then we have To Be Taught If Fortunate by Becky Chambers. It was actually recommended to me by Emily Fox, on, not to me personally, but I, I saw the recommendation on a lot of our videos. She's crazy about this book and I'm really, really, really interested to see what all the fuss is about. Then we have In Conclusion Don't Worry About It but by Lauren Graham. Then Lock and Key by Joe Hill, volume 2, because I actually read the first one a few weeks ago and it was really, really great. I just, I'm just a bit disappointed because I watched the, the show and I didn't finish it. I just watched like maybe three or four episodes and it wasn't a bad show, but it wasn't great as well. It was like, you know, a lot of teen drama and there isn't all that in the actual comic. And I was then disappointed because <laughs> I actually spoiled myself watching the show, all of the great things that happen in the first comics. But I haven't seen the ending, so I can't wait, you know, to reach that point where I don't know what will come next. And yeah, that's it. Then we have Binti by Andy. Mm, Andy Okorafora. <laughs> I'm not sure I pronounced this right, but yeah. Also a sci-fi novella that everybody seems to love. Then The Test by Sylvain Nouvel. I actually don't know what this, this is about and I'm really interested. Then we have And Every Morning uh, The Way Home Gets Longer and Longer by Frederick Backman. I absolutely adore Frederick McMahon. I read um, the first two volumes in his series Bear Town. I'm waiting for the third one to come out and it was just fantastic. Highly, highly, highly recommended. Like one of the best books I've ever read. But uh, he also wrote uh, this novella that um, one of my favorite booktubers um, really loved and so I I want to read it. I actually started it yesterday, so uh, I will just continue on and finish it, finish it today. Then we have Stargazing by Anjan Wong. She, it's, a, it's, a comic, it's a comic book and uh, I read by this author The Prince and the Seamstress and I adored it. it like, it's like one of my favorite comic books of all time. So uh, she wrote this one as well and I'm really excited about it. 
And finally, we have um, Enquête de Vérité by Carbon. It's actually a French comic book and I heard great things about it. And it's like a bit with, you know, a mystery thriller vibe and I can't wait to read it. And then we have finally three mangas that I have right here. This one, it's in bad Japanese, Steki Nakareshi, because I can read Japanese. <laughs> and I love reading my mangas in Japanese when I can, if I can afford them, because they are so expensive when you export, when you have to ship them to France. And so is the fourth volume in the series. I really, uh, I didn't think I would enjoy this series as much as I did because I actually bought it because uh, there's like one uh, Japanese library in, in Paris. And so I went there, they hadn't any of the mangas I wanted. And so I just took this one because it looks, you know, uh, light and funny and cute. And I thought, yeah, give this one a shot. And I wasn't expecting much from it and I actually fell in love with it. It's so romantic, so cute, so adorable. And so this is the fourth one and I can't wait to read it. Then we have Promise Neverland. It's the 70th that just came out and we're approaching the end and so I can't wait. There's maybe like maybe three or four left and ah! <laughs> And finally, we have My Hero, My Hero Academia. Uh, it's um, volume 26 and one of my favorite series of all time. And I can't wait to read this one as well. So there you have it. I have a lot to read. I don't think I will actually read all of it, but I will try to read as much as possible. And um, just so you know, I actually um, love audiobooks. Yeah, really, really love. Although I had a hard start with them, and so uh, now that's almost all I do. I listen to audiobooks while doing something else, either it's drawing or, you know, coloring in a, in a book. I don't think, know how you say that, but I have like this, you know, and I, <laughs> I do that. And then I do puzzles because I love puzzles. And I actually got this one for Christmas. It's like the Marauder's Map. And so I'm going to do that while listening to my audiobooks of, you know, several of the books I mentioned. So see you, see you for that, guys. Whoa, I don't know if you can tell, but that was emotional. <laughs> Whew. I just finished uh, The Way Home Gets Longer and Longer, and let me tell you, it was a wild ride. So I love this book, and oh god, it made me cry, and whew, just so emotional. Loved it, loved it. And now I think I'm going to read uh, a 15 suggestion memento by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. Adi Adichie. I hope I said it right. And see you guys later. Back again. I've just had my lunch and I watched with my boyfriend uh, Avatar The Last Airbender, which is just the best show on earth. If you haven't seen it, just run and watch it. It's so amazing. And then I finished, um, what was the name? It was 15 Suggestions um, to, I don't know. I can't remember the name exactly, but it was the, um, the feminist book by uh, Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. And it was so good, just amazing. Really, really smart and interesting and just perfect. I want everyone to read it and just, you know, take in the message. And it's also very touching because uh, as uh, in our previous book uh, that I also adored, um, Why We Should All Be Feminist, she also, um, she speaks of her own experience. Like she, uh, the examples she give are examples from her own life mostly. And it's touching and real and really so and it's not it's not you know hard to read or anything uh, it's, it's just really touching and gripping and real and it's a message you you need to convey and if you're a feminist you are always this you're still discovering things and way to approach it and way to explain it to people to maybe uh, avoid all the prejudices against feminism and that people that don't, don't understand feminism and how it's just the basic equality of men and women and it's just as important for men as th that it is for women than it is for women and just yeah so important and she also uh, in this book particularly it's a letter she wrote to a friend who uh, asked, asked her uh, what um, advices she would give her to raise her own daughter uh, a feminist 
And so it is touching because she's actually talking to a friend about uh, a, a little baby that was just born and that she, well, it's it's like an it's like a niece. And so she's yeah really beautiful and touching and so brilliant. And now I'm going to read uh, the evidence of the affair. So I'll talk about it in a little bit. So I just finished uh, the evidence of the affair and it was fantastic. I just loved it. The ending though wasn't really my taste. Uh, I would have really preferred if she hadn't did it another way but well it's really a question of personal taste so don't uh, don't let it discourage you. You might absolutely absolutely love it. Just it didn't work out perfectly for me. It was like good but not Mm, as satisfying as I would have liked but everything else it was like perfect so good so touching love the characters love the relationship that's create that creates throughout the pages and it was an epistory novella I didn't know that and it was really refreshing and so perfectly handled I love this author so I highly recommend it and you don't know you might love this ending I just mm, couldn't quite wrap my head around it so now I think I'm going to choose another of your book to do my sport and uh, you'll see. <laughs> I haven't decided which one yet, so you'll see. Welcome back. So I've just woken up, as you might maybe tell, and I'm in this just awesome plaid. I don't know if plaid is the word in English. I'll check it out. I got it for Christmas. I love it so much. My cat just disappeared. Oh, went away. <laughs> he won't appear in the video, unfortunately. My Kindle is down, no more power. So I'm going to continue with, on my tablet. And uh, yesterday I finished Stargazing by Jen Wong. It was great, just great. Uh, really, really moving, great characters, love the plot, but it wasn't exceptional, you know. So I think it's a four star read for me. I also started uh, A Dead Gene in Cairo, so I read half of it. It's really short, so I'm going to finish it in like uh, 20 minutes, I think. And then I don't know, I will either continue with uh, Tramgar, I forgot the entire name, but Tramgar something by the same author or I will read something else, you will see. I started at noon, so I have one hour left, I will see what I can do with it. Hi, and so this is the end of this uh, 24 hour readathon, it was just great. So I have my cat this time, where is it? Sorry, just wait a sec, ah, he's here. Garfield, smile for the camera. So. Um, it was really a great experience. I hadn't that done this before, like I said, and I just loved loved it. So we, uh, in the end, I read four. Oh no, I just have to catch uh, catch up with you guys. I finished uh, a dead Jean Caro. It was quite good, but really short. You know, like fifty pages. So the for such a short book it was really well constructed constructed well written uh, i really liked the main character and the at the atmosphere the world it was like you know a mix between futuristic and uh, uh, egypt but with with um, futuristic things and you know more magical things and magical creatures inspired by uh, middle east uh, so really really great the mix of it but it was so short that I can't say it was like amazing you know because you can't do that much uh, <laughs> in 50 pages so it's a 3.5 stars for me but I'm re really looking forward to read uh, Tramka because it is the next book in the series if you can call it that and yeah it I think it will be longer like maybe 130 pages or something so I'm really looking forward to it and I also finished the, the Turn of the Key, Volume 2, because I had already started it and I just had like the, the second half to read. And it was quite good, not as good as the first one. Uh, I think it will be four stars for me. Like really good, but maybe I think not boring <laughs> exactly, but slower, let's say that. Just slower and so it wasn't as gripping, I thought, that uh, as the first one, but really good still really good really good material and i can't wait to read what comes next so there we have that and so to recap i will calculate how many page pages it were but not much i think and in the end it was like four um short books 
let's recap because there was the way get the way home gets longer and longer there was uh, a dead Jean in Cairo there was the evidence of the affair and the feminist book by Chimamanda and Gozi Adichie so those four were just great uh, like I said that Jean Caro uh, not as great but it was so short that for such a short book it was just perfect but uh, compared to the others that were also short but not as, as much um, it was really a great great reading experience I was so lucky to have you know picked such amazing books because it was really a great uh, great day for reading I think it wasn't so much luck as because I had uh, heard a lot of booktubers say great things about it so you know trust your booktubers it was just great there was also uh, the stargazing that was great and uh, finally Turn of the Key that was great as well. I think the two comic books were the least good on my list but yeah, the Evidence of the Affair, the feminist book by uh, Chimamanda and Gozi Adichie and, <coughs> and the last one was uh, ah, uh, The Way. Oh, <coughs> my voice. The Way Home Gets Longer and Longer was just really great, great, great especially for such short books. I wish I had, had read more, you know, because uh, I had like 24 hours and I feel like I haven't read as much as I would have liked, considering there were so, such short books. But uh, I think I just enjoyed myself a lot. It was a great readathon and I will do it again. And tell me guys if you enjoyed it, if you actually heard or heard of or read any of the books I mentioned what you thought about them and um, I mentioned you know a few books in the beginning of the video the, the books I wanted to read I still want to read, it, read them I think I will they're so short and I think I read them next week or the week after so if you have read any of them and love them or hate them just tell me in the comments I know which one I should give a go first so thank you for watching this video if you liked it don't hesitate to like and subscribe and see you around I forgot to tell you that I actually started, you know, with the, the puzzle and it was so freaking hard. So I just gave up, I have to admit. And I went on to this. So let me find the page. And oh, that's the one. I actually finished it. Quite beautiful, isn't it? I'm pretty proud of myself. So... Haha, <laughs> that's one of the perks of other books. But I do um, a complete video about it. So don't worry. See you around, guys.